but UMass is going to fight through, trying to get possession, hanging out by the boards right there. Schroeder is going to try to shoot, and it goes in. I think that hand is still on fire. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely still got that momentum going in through it. Sienna truder has got her fourth goal in just a game and a little over one period, or in a little over, or a little less than one period, excuse me. She has been the star of the series. Absolutely incredible there by Yannick Truder, the senior this year. And conservative early on, in which both teams seem to be at each other's neck uh, in this first period. Yeah, safe hockey is not being played right now as both of these teams really battling through. And the Flames able to earn their second one on the board. Like, Flames really caught UMass off guard right there. Looks like this is Shelby Bradford right here, who is able to just earn their earn the second goal of the game as we're going to watch right, right there. Able to just tuck it in and kind of catch Marshall off guard a little bit. It's like she did not think it was going to go that way. Great setup there by the Flames. That's that team's chemistry right there. Those are three moving parts right there to have that goal happen. As Liberty quickly gains possession, beginning to start that rhythm. So Adamac shot there, goes in from number five, Shelby Bradford. We just talked about how the power play goes into Liberty's favor and they prove it quickly, just 17 seconds into this power play, they're able to get on the board and be able to make this 3 nothing really quickly. Uh, yesterday I warned that uh, Liberty could score on these power plays very quickly. As you saw there, it was a very quick, you know, pass and shoot <laughs> for the Lady Flames. And have really been huge parts of this Liberty team as Glenn is going to try to put her name in the speed category as she races down the ice shot there. And it's a goal! Haley Battles. Haley Battles. We were just talking about her. And she's able to make this lead 4 nothing. Great job there by Battles. Able to battle it through and able to get something going and even more going, in fact, for the Flames. I see what you did there with the last name. I was looking for an opportunity to do it, and I was able to find it. Great job there by Battles. As Glenn able to fight off some Minutemen defense, able to just pass along to Battles, who is wide open and able to just get something going and able to get that shot in pretty easily. There's nothing really that Marshall could do about that. Great job there by the Flames. A couple Flames are there, and number 11 will shoot it wide, and Zeifel's there to take possession, able to just pass it down into the neutral zone. Shelby Bradford looking for a Flame to pass off to. Zeifel pass it off, and looks like quite the pile up end. Zeifel. Potential goal. Zyphal. You hear the buzzer. Zyphal took advantage of a puck bounced off of Washington's legs. And the Flames are celebrating like it's a goal right there. That is going to be number 10, Priscilla Zyphal. Somehow able to make it through, even though there were multiple players around the net. Able to find that little opening right there, somehow making it through Marshall. Not much Marshall can do there. Looked like she was a little confused afterwards. And now are going to have two losses under their belt after this series loss against the undefeated Liberty Flames. What an impressive series and what an impressive game that Liberty was able to win two games against this number four ranked UMass team that was ranked number four in week one, but is now dropped in rankings as Liberty proves how great this team is as they get win number nine. Craig, what are your thoughts after this series? I mean, UMass could literally just say that, you know, if you lose, at least lose to the number one team and Liberty has proven why they're number one with the multiple talent that they have, you know, to score. And, you know, UMass could take away a lot from this and move forward and maybe see Liberty again later in the season. Yeah, even with their nine new players on their roster, they're still able to prove how amazing they can be and how they're going to do amazing things this year and how they've already had nine wins and no losses under their belt. It's really incredible to watch these girls. I can't wait to watch more Flames hockey in the future. 
the final score was 10 nothing Flames. My name's Jacqueline Hager. Craig Pruitt's next to me as the analyst. Thank you, Johanna Vo, and we thank you so much for tuning in.